When is a gaming laptop not a gaming laptop? Lenovo is gonna show us with the Legion Y740S here at CES 2020. At first glance, this looks like a fairly standard 15 inch slim laptop. Uh, you can get either a full HD or a 4K screen. It's got ninth gen Intel CPU in it, but it's part of Lenovo's Legion line, which is their gaming brand. And I go, okay, that must mean it's a gaming laptop then. But is it because inside uh, the graphics are just standard Intel integrated graphics, not an Nvidia card, not an AMD card. So you say to yourself, self, what makes this a gaming laptop then? It's because you combine this with the new Lenovo Boost Station, which is an external GPU box. Now we've seen these a couple of times over the years. They've never become especially popular. Although now that you can connect a device like this to a laptop like this via USB-C Thunderbolt, it becomes much more universal and perhaps more interesting to more people. So what is an eGPU, an external GPU box like the Boost Station? It's basically a big metal box. Inside you've got a slot for a graphic this card and you've got a power supply so you can do 500 watts of power you can put pretty much any graphics card you can think of in here just connected via a single thin USB-C Thunderbolt cable and it can power your laptop and it will take all that graphics power of that graphics card and make the laptop feel like it's built right in it doesn't even know the difference it doesn't know that it's not an internal graphics card so when you combine all that, you have a very thin gaming laptop that you can pick up and take with you if you have to take it to work or take it on the subway or go to the coffee shop with it where you're actually gonna do regular laptop -y stuff and you don't have a big gigantic gawky looking gaming laptop, then you come home. This is sitting on your desk. You plug it right in, gives you your power and then gives you the graphics. And my favorite part is if you open this box up, inside, again, you got room for the graphics card but I love that there's also a slot for a hard drive in there. So you can put in some, some extra storage, you know, a big gigantic hard drive, just pop it right in there. And then you slide the whole thing back in. And then you've taken your fairly slim, fairly lightweight, fairly inexpensive 15 inch laptop and added a ton of extra capabilities to it. Now the Legion 740S, it's gonna start at 1099. If you want the 4K screen, that's gonna cost more. And then the external box called the Boost Station, that's 250. Uh, and of course you have to supply your own graphics card, whether it's one you already have sitting around or you go out and buy a new one, I'm sure they'll be happy to sell you a bundle. Uh, both of these are gonna be available in May. So it's interesting to see the different ways that companies are playing with the concept of a gaming computer. Uh, some of them are making them smaller, some of them are making them bigger. I like that this makes it modular uh, so that you don't have to have a full-time gaming machine. You can have a part-time one that becomes a gaming machine when you, when you add this, or you could just use this box on frankly almost any other laptop you have that supports uh, USB-C and Thunderbolt. We are just getting started here at CES 2020, but that is some of what is going on with PC gaming at the show. Thank you.